crazy. What's up, you guys? It's your boy, Seth Velasquez. It is tonight's meeting of the known quitters at my house. I'm practicing for if I ever get a place to do known quitting meetings. So I'll be your host and speaker today. My name is Seth Velasquez. I live in Las Vegas. And um, I am constantly quitting uh, methamphetamines and uh, tobacco. Yeah, those are the ones right there. So, and um, you know those are the main ones but I'm, I'm really quitting everything you know because I did everything but I'm trying to practice uh, 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 lit you know and I'm not trying to stay away from the alcohol you know the weed the um, unless I have to you know for cultural reasons or local or uh, geographical reasons but anyways so it's your voice is me and I'm a known quitter you know um, I love smoking tobacco tobacco is the greatest shit in the world I guess I started smoking when I was a young kid and um, uh, I started smoking people's snipes off the ground, you know, and I loved it, <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, before that, I did rubber cement, and I love that shit more than anything. Uh, I put it in a bag, I used to steal it from the store, I used to put it in a little bag and just <laughs> and get high, and that's how I started. I used to smoke a lot of weed when I was young. I think I started like when I was seven in the hood with my cousins, and, uh, and then I stopped one day because... Uh, the, the area in the neighborhood started treating me bad. And then uh, I told my mom that I smoked weed. And then she, you know, did mom shit. And then the world stopped being a bitch. So then I stopped smoking weed until I was older. And then I would recreationally smoke weed. And then, um, and then I stopped smoking weed because uh, my girlfriend said she didn't like when I smoked weed because it made me too happy or some shit. I don't know, we smoked weed together and I guess it was just not a good experience with her. So I stopped smoking weed with her and um, and then uh, math hit me, you know, cause uh, damn, it hit me at 17 years old. And uh, yeah, I just been quitting math and falling into traps and pterodactyls and leads and you know I, I i personally stopped a long time ago but drugs didn't stop so yeah i was waiting for that to happen but today i mean i've done the steps a bunch of times you know and now i'm at the point where it's about preventing preventing things like like emotional relapses like preventing uh personal problems you know because i cleared up the wreckage of my past which really wasn't that much because I was 17 years old. I didn't really live much, you know, so there wasn't that much to clean up. It was more closure of losing my father and losing my girlfriend and everyone around me turning on me. And that's what I was dealing with. But today, my biggest problem is um, feeling like I... I would me. Feeling like I have to care for other people and it's not my business, you know. Because um, just because I did the program, just because I'm done, doesn't mean that they're done living, you know. And that's one of my biggest problems right now. It's like the world forcing and coursing you to feel something when you know that, when you know better, you know. After dealing with the drugs by myself and dealing with programs, ODs, I figured out, like, I can't do anything for somebody running their life, you know. Only the day that they're able to stop, they'll stop, you know. So I don't try to save people because... Um, I know that that's what it's like for me. And then when you tell people about it, it just makes them smoke more. And it sucks. So, I don't know, my biggest problem is girls right now. I just feel like they're just like nonstop disrespectful. Like, you know, for, you know, that's how they just been. Even though I don't do anything to them, they're just like really bitches, you know? And they just don't know how to stop being bitches. You know, it's just weird. No matter how polite I am or whatever, they're just real bitches. And that's just the way it is. <laughs> And that's my biggest problem, you know. Other people creating problems. And then, like, I'm like, when do I stop feeling the effects of drugs when I don't do drugs? You know, I don't sell them. I don't make them. Um, I don't push them. So, like, why do I have to suffer any consequences because of them? And I'm just like, that's why I became a non-quitter. Because I was tired of falling into traps. And people saying that I relapsed when it wasn't me. Versus dealing with the problem head on. And that's what's going on. Like, right now, I just feel like all the girls are, like, playing with my head. You know, like, I'm a respectful dude, you know. I'm not really a sexual person like that unless you're my girlfriend or something. But, like, I just, all that pushing, like, it's just really annoying, you know. I don't like it. You know, I, I, I spend most of my day trying to deal with other people, like, not in my life, in my life. And I hate it because 
I feel annoyed as hell, and I can't tell them anything because it's their life, you know, and that's what pisses me off, you know, because I shouldn't have to be, like, feeling anything when I have no control over the situation. It's like me bitching about the sun coming up and the moon coming out. You know, the sun going down and the moon coming up. I have no control over it, you know? So why should I feel bad? You know, it's like, the other thing I don't like is having to live a certain way because somebody else needs to live and I don't, and I have to die. But what about me? When do I get to live? You know, and that's what pisses me off, you know? Like, especially girls, man. It's just, I, it's so many guilt trips, you know what I mean? It's just like, I don't know. It's because this girl came, like, this, something happened this morning and it changed my whole life and I'm trying to keep that feeling going because it's the feeling of being myself and I don't want to lose myself again because that shit is stupid so I just I'm just tired of like feeling like relationships are coarse when you know when you know they are like trying to walk into real my personal life situations where I'm doing what I like because I know that I didn't plan for shit to happen. Other people plan for shit to happen. And I'm tired of walking into their little mazes and little traps. So that's why like I was a known quitter. But anyways, my biggest thing is tobacco. You know? That meth shit is crazy. I can I can vouch for all my DUIs and say I honestly earned them, but when it came to doing math, that shit hit me and took over and did his own thing and I didn't have a choice of it all so that shit sucked but um right now it's just if I could find a way to go and deal with my personal life without having to care about somebody else's life that I know has to face through the life you know I think I'd be okay I just don't know how to get to that point and it's like how do I get out of your life how do I get out of your way so I can live my life? Because somewhere down, somewhere in it, it makes my life, it makes my day suck and it makes my life suck. You know, and that's where I'm at, you know, because of the fact that um, I have I have no reason for your life. I have no reason for your being. So why should I be punished for it? You know, and that's how I feel about it. You know, it's like, so how do I get out of that? You know, because I don't want to feel annoyed because you're living a life, you know, and I hate that shit, so. You know, especially when I don't do drugs and I'm not doing anything wrong and I don't, I, I shouldn't feel that, if, especially if I'm not a boyfriend or a husband or anything of yours. So that's what, that's how I feel about girls. Right, you know? Okay.